Now, I'll help you understand why the mitochondria is called as the powerhouse of the cell. In common terminology, the term powerhouse is used to denote an installation where energy in the form of electrical power is generated for distribution. The term power here means energy and the term house means the installation where the energy is generated. The cells in our body also have energy producing powerhouses. These powerhouse organelles go by the name mitochondria. Each cell contains not just one but many of these powerhouse organelles. The number and size of the organelles varies depending on the function of the cell. For instance, muscle cells, as you know, need a lot of energy. So they have a lot of these energy producing powerhouse organelles, like thousands of mitochondria in each muscle cell. Whereas skin cells have only a few hundred of these mitochondria per cell. So the number and size varies depending on the function of the cell. Mitochondria releases energy in the form of ATP. And this ATP is extracted through the metabolism of food by a process called cellular respiration. Cellular respiration occurs in four stages, namely glycolysis, pyruvate oxidation, citric acid cycle, also known as the Krebs cycle, and oxidative phosphorylation, which is the electron transport chain. Among this, only glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell, whereas the remaining three stages occurs in the mitochondria of the cell. During the process of cellular respiration, a total of 38 molecules of ATP are produced by the cell. And out of these 38 molecules, 36 molecules of ATP are produced in the mitochondria of the cell. So if not for the mitochondria, the cells will be unable to produce enough energy from food. And so all these cellular functions will then cease because the cells do not have enough energy to perform the functions. The reason why the mitochondria is able to generate energy in the form of ATP is because it houses various enzymes and structures that help in the process of cellular respiration, such as the presence of transport proteins in the outer membrane, which help transport pyruvate into the mitochondria, and the presence of various enzymes of oxidative phosphorylation in the inner membrane of the mitochondria, and also the presence of various enzymes needed for Krebs cycle in the matrix of the mitochondria. If you found this video helpful, please support by giving a like and leave your feedback in the comments below. Do share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video. Until then, happy learning!